For this install, we will be removing the two existing access points and replacing them with two AP6s while also adding an 8-port PoE-capable switch for Malta Labs. This home already has the Ethernet ran through the house as well as some ubiquity equipment. Here in the laundry room is where all of the Ethernet, coax, and fiber lines meet. We will be cleaning all of this up and adding an additional Ethernet drop for an outdoor PoE camera. While cutting all the zip ties, I managed to get some super sticky gel on my hands and had to go clean it off. I went ahead and grouped all the ethernet cables together by running them down the left side because I think it would be cleanest if they were all together. And then after I got that done, I went ahead and labeled my coax in line. So that's the coax that brings in the TV. So that way I could also move it to the right side with all the other coax cable, hopefully giving it all a super clean look when we're done. I bought some mounting brackets thinking they would help organize and keep everything nice and tidy, giving us the cleanest possible look, and I ended up only using one of them. I decided to use the largest bracket because I figured it'd give us the most flexibility and I'm just trying to figure out about where it should be mounted to so that way everything looks the cleanest and tidiest as possible. I went ahead and took this opportunity to figure out the orientation. I thought the switch would best go to support a clean route for all of the cables including power. I decided to mount the switch and unify cloud key like this. I used the zip ties on the switch because it more than likely will never be moved. And I used the Velcro on the cloud key because I figured if the hard drive ever needed to be replaced, the user could just simply unstrap it and swap the drive, then just strap it back in without disturbing the entire new setup. With the cloud key and NVR mounted appropriately, it was time to remove the access points downstairs and the unit upstairs. It turns out that the existing access points were both Ruckus 510s. I'm not familiar with these units, but the homeowner seemed happy to see them go. And in typical contractor fashion, they painted around the access points, meaning that I would have to paint around the square boxes. Thankfully, the homeowner had a paint can laying around, so it was time to do some touch-up painting. While the paint was drying, it was as good a time as any to run my fish tape through the orange conduit tube that feeds to the outside of the house. However, I quickly learned that 25 feet of reel wasn't enough. With that failure, it was time for a little trick where I could tie a string to this bag and use a vacuum to pull the bag through the tube and later use the string to pull back through a cable. However, there must have been a kink in the tube because I could not get the bag to be sucked down the pipe. With that failure, I went out and got a 65 foot reel, ran it through the orange tube and began pulling my ethernet cable through. I had an extremely difficult time pulling my ethernet cable through the tube, but eventually after tugging on the pipe long enough, it released the fish tape and ethernet cable. The tube must have been kinked or damaged somehow, making this way more difficult than it needed to be. And yes, don't worry, I did run a string along with the ethernet cable that I just ran through. 
The ethernet cable we just ran into the house is an outdoor direct burial and UV protected cable. I am running it along the outside of the house to where the future PoE camera will be installed. The reason it is going along the outside of the house is because there is no physical access to the back of the home between the two floors for a cable to be run. I would have installed the PoE camera in this video, but it wasn't ordered in time for me to install it. I chased my ethernet run alongside an existing coax run that went all along the outside of the house and then eventually up this wall. Unfortunately, I'll have to return another day to finish the wiring of this cable. Here is the pull string I added for any future cables that need to be pulled through the walls. You know, for the next guy. With the paint dried, we can now mount our Alta Labs access points to the ceiling, add our interior Ubiquiti Wi-Fi camera, and plug in everything inside of the structured media closet, leaving us with this nice, clean, and tidy setup. And yes, I pushed the excess cable into the wall instead of looping the wire to give it a cleaner aesthetic.